And the number of teenagers using social media is at an all-time high, with nearly all teens saying they use the Internet every day. And the amount of teens who report being online constantly has almost doubled in the past 10 years. So where are they spending most of their time on the Internet? A new report by the Pew Research Center reveals just that. Monica Anderson with the Pew Research Center joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. So I don't think it's a surprise to us that teens are leaving Facebook and uh, Twitter. Uh, where are they spending most of their time? So what we have found in our recent surveys about teens' use of social media is just how much YouTube dominates. So in our latest survey, 93% of teens say that they use YouTube a majority are on that site every day, and nearly one in five say that they use YouTube almost constantly. So is the value in this research for parents to say, like, hey, this is where your teens or your, your children may be accessing social media information? For example, with YouTube, the, some of the content on there may not necessarily be appropriate for children. Uh, what do you hope parents uh, to take away from this report? Yeah, I think a, a key takeaway here is that for us to first understand the impact of social media and technology on teens, we have to get an understanding of where they're spending their time. And as you mentioned, the online landscape can change quite rapidly. And oftentimes, YouTube isn't in that conversation. So we're hoping that this data, first and foremost, gives teens a chance to share their own experiences, but also lets parents and lawmakers um, and others uh, be able to really kind of understand what the environment is like for young people on these sites. Well, on that note, we just did a story about Meta uh, trying to curtail mentions of suicide and things of that nature in their algorithms. Um, do they do that out of the goodness of their heart or is that because of outside pressure? Because it doesn't seem like lawmakers have gained much traction in trying to regulate uh, these social media companies. Well, one of the things that we hear from both adults uh, and teenagers is the idea that they do want social media companies as well as the government uh, to play a bigger role in the way that these companies are being regulated. And particularly when you look at adults, they are looking towards key policies like implementing things like parental consent to use social media sites or majorities are also in favor of some type of age verification. So what we see in our kind of survey data overall is that the public does want to see companies as well as the government play a bigger role in regulating social media companies when it comes to youth and their usage. Uh, and just real quick, be real. I'm not familiar with that as a parent. That's gaining traction. Just quickly, what is that? So Be Real is a social media site in which it prompts its users to take a photo at a particular hour. So you oh, and your right. friends get prompted at, let's say, 10 a.m., and you all have to post. And so this was the first time that we asked about Be Real in our survey, and about one in 10 teens said that they ever used that site. Hmm. All right. You can check out more at pewresearch.org or check them out on social media. Monica, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Monica. Yeah, thanks so much for having me.